In this project, we will be using animation app and Lume Fusion to make the scribal effect like this for an intro video. For this demonstration, I chose a 7 second intro video of me talking to the camera. Before we start the scribal effect animation, I want to make some blurring effect to this video. I tap on the video twice and go to color and effects tab. At this icon we can find different blurring effects. I choose an effect called Box Blur 80. This effect has a bar that can change the blur radius. When we play the video, the blurring effect is constant. I want to change it so it will gradually disappear. So I move the timeline and put keyframe at different point while reducing the blur radius. Great, it looks well. Next, I want to create a reference image of the text I will put as animation in the intro video. I will do it in Adobe Comp app. This app is free. You can choose other apps like this on your iPad. Tap on the plus icon to open a new document. Your document should be the same dimensions of your video. So I created a custom size of 16 by 9 ratio. First of all, I want to make a rectangular shape. So I'm going to the tool section and choose rectangle shape. I change its stroke and background to white. This actually doesn't matter since it's just for reference. I resize the shape. And if you have the guides turned on, you can position the shape in the center of the canvas. Then I can put in the text. And export the image to my camera roll. Next, I open the animation app. Tap on the plus icon to open a new drawing. First, go to the drawing properties and make a green background for export. Make a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, then go to the layer panel and upload the reference image. So we have this reference on separate layer. Go back to the layer panel and open additional layer above. This is the layer that I'm going to make all animation process. I will be making the animation with white brush. So the first step in the animation process is to animate the rectangle shape. I will do this animation in the LumaFusion app. So just for now, I draw the shape. I don't care that it's not straight. I want it to have a hand-drawn look. To export the image of this shape, I go back to the gallery. Tap on the shape and choose single frame with the highest resolution possible. This image will be saved in my camera roll. Now I'm going to animate this shape in LumaFusion app. So I'm going back to my intro video project. I drag the image that I just saved on the upper video timeline above the original intro video. It has a green background, so right now I can't see the video below. I tap twice to enter the editing mode and go to color and effect panel. Then go to key icon and choose green screen key. Looks good for me. So now we can see the video below this shape. To edit the animation, I tap twice again on the image and go back to the editing mode. In frame and fit panel, I want to make frame keys at different times and to resize the image. This way I can animate its movement. But as you see, if I hand resize the image, it loses its center and its aspect ratio. So I will use the position handle to reposition the image at each key.
Looks great, let's play it again. Let's go back to animation app to continue our process. In order to keep the shape in all other animation, we need to duplicate the first frame. Next, I will draw each letter in different frames. Remember to duplicate previous frames in order to have all letters to appear. Let's see the animation. To export the animation video, go back to the gallery and tap Share video with the highest resolution possible. This video will be saved in my camera roll. Let's go to the LumaFusion app. Now drag the animation video that we just created on the same video layer as our shape image. Position it just after it. Tap twice on the animation video and go to Color and Effects panel. Go to Key icon and again choose Green Screen key. If needed, use the hue, saturation and brightness to make your animation lines to look better. Let's see how it looks like. I want to add some more animation effects, so I go back to the animation app. I go to the reference layer and turn its opacity down to zero. Then I check that we still have the background set to green color. I deleted all frames except the shaped frame. Then frame by frame I add these dots that will add up with time around the rectangular shape. When finished, I export this animation too like the previous one. In LumaFusion app, I drag this animation video on the upper third video layer just above the text animation video. I tap it twice to enter the editing mode and make the green background to disappear. Let's see our animation intro video. Now we're ready to export it to our camera roll. You can keep all these settings as is. Let's check it in the camera roll. So here it is. Now we'll be able to add this intro to any YouTube video I make. 